The comfort of warm floors can bring a touch of luxury to any room in the home. That luxury can now extend right into your tiled shower. Ditra Heat is an electric floor warming system with integrated uncoupling technology. To ensure that floors are both comfortable and resistant to cracked tiles and grout, cables can be placed wherever heat is desired, even in your tiled shower. We're going to show you the basics of how to install it in a shower application. Before starting, always refer to the Schluter Systems Dietra Heat and Shower System Installation Handbooks. The handbooks provide you with all of the information needed to install Dietra Heat in a shower. Approval of electric floor warming in shower applications must be verified by the local building code official or authority having jurisdiction. In our demonstration, we'll be installing the Curdy Line Linear Drain. Prepare the Curdy Shower LS Shower Tray by removing the flat section in order to ensure proper slope all the way to the drain. The height of your drain flange is the first consideration when preparing for the installation. Because the Dietra Heat membrane will be installed on top of the shower tray, we have to raise the drain flange accordingly. We will do this by installing Dietra Heat on the substrate under the Curdy Line channel body support. This will raise the drain flange to the correct elevation. The same idea applies when using the Curdy drain. Install the membrane under the detachable center section of the Curdy Shower ST shower tray and then install the drain flange. Let's get to work and start our installation. Use the channel body support as a guide to cut a piece of the Dietra heat membrane. Don't forget to include an opening for the drain outlet. We will be using Schluter All Set Thin Set Mortar throughout this demonstration. In this application, any Schluter mortar or other manufacturer's unmodified thin set mortar can be used. Apply thin set mortar to the area where the cut section of Dietra heat will be installed with a Dietra heat trowel. Or you can use a 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch square notch trowel. Solidly embed the membrane into the thin set mortar. Apply thin set mortar on top of the Dietra heat membrane. Install the Curdy Line Channel body support. Then, install the Curdy Line drain flange using the same mortar and trowel. Always make sure your drain is level. Install the shower tray with thin set mortar applied using a 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square or U notch trowel. Next, Install the Dietra Heat membrane over the shower tray with thin set mortar and the Dietra Heat trowel. Now let's talk about the heating cables. Always test your cables before and after installation into the matting and again after tiling. We've chosen to begin the heating cable installation where we want our cable to end. This is the easiest and most efficient way to do the layout in the shower. Since we are using Curdy Line, the cable is spaced three studs from the edge of the drain flange. If you are using Curdy Drain, two stud spacing is required from the edge of the flange. Note that the cable layout may take a few tries to get as desired. This is normal and easy to do with Dietra Heat. Always take care to plan your heating cable layout carefully as the cable cannot be cut to length. We recommend using a dedicated heating cable inside the shower area and a separate cable over the bathroom floor. If the shower heating cable is damaged in the future, it can easily be disconnected from the thermostat without compromising the bathroom floor warming. Once the cable is installed over the shower base, dry fit the shower curbs. Note that the heating cable should be run about halfway around the stud adjacent to the curb before turning up the curb to exit the shower. This helps increase the bending radius and minimizes stress on the cable. Mark the curb where the cable will be installed. Cut a 3 quarter inch wide by 1 quarter inch deep groove into the curb. We used a router to produce a nice clean cut. 
but you can use other tools for the job, such as a table saw or circular saw, or even a utility knife. It is important to do this before installing the curb because we won't be able to cut it once it's installed. Install the shower curbs with thin set mortar applied using a 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch notch trowel. Keep in mind that the heating cables cannot be installed under or through the curb. This could cause overheating and damage the heating cable and the curb. The floor temperature sensor should not be installed inside the shower area, rather on the bathroom floor. This will prevent the thermostat from turning off the bathroom floor warming cable prematurely when the shower is in use. Also, the heating cable hot to cold splice should not be installed in the shower. Before finishing our heating cable installation, we need to install DETRA heat over the bathroom floor since the shower heating cable has to connect to the thermostat. Use hot glue or similar to secure the cable into the groove previously cut in the curb. You can fill the groove with thin set mortar now or when waterproofing the shower base. Install the remainder of the shower heating cable and connect the cold lead to the thermostat. Now that we have finished installing our shower heating cable, we will begin installation of the heating cable for the bathroom floor. We are starting six inches from the wall to create a buffer zone. This area allows for the placement of excess heating cable, since it is difficult to predict exactly where the cable will end. Next, let's waterproof the shower base. Install the Schluter Curdy waterproofing membrane over the DETRA heat system on the shower base with thin set mortar. The Curdy collar on the Curdy line drain is connected to the shower base and walls. Next, we use thin set mortar to fill the groove in the curb and fully encapsulate the heating cable. Seal this area with curdy band. Complete the waterproofing with curdy carrot corners and curdy band, making sure that all seams are covered with a two inch overlap as required. This completes the waterproofing in the shower. Finally, we will connect the heating cables and temperature sensors to the thermostat. The installation of the DETRA heat system in the shower is now complete. For comprehensive installation requirements and instructions, refer to our installation handbooks and watch our DETRA heat and shower system installation videos. Now, DETRA heat provides the luxury of heated tile floors, even in the shower.